Okay, we've already covered the scrotum and testes, so now we're going to cover the rest of the external male genitalia, and we're going to go over the penis and some surrounding structures. So the outside of the penis is covered with a superficial fascia. Under that superficial fascia, you're going to find a superficial vein, superficial arteries, and, super, and a dorsal nerve of the penis, which will all see, be covered better on the models. And then part of this, you have what's called the suspensory ligament of the penis. That is actually a continuation of some of the abdominal fascia. Then we're going to make our way down here to the deep fascia of the penis, also known as Buck's fascia. And then the penis has three parts, or three tubes, if you will. On top, we have the two erectile tubes called the corpus cavernosa. There's an artery inside called the deep artery of the penis, and that fills the corpus cavernosa with blood and causes erection. And then on the bottom part, we have the corpus spongiosum, and that's where the uh, spongy urethra is found. Then the very end, we have the glands, and then of course the opening in the end of the glands. He did not have a foreskin. If we had, if this uh, patient had foreskin, the foreskin would actually cover the glands of the penis.